And so we're doing it again. Yeah, this is three days in a row, which is actually kind of not very typical for me. But, you know, I'm invested, chat. I am immersed and invested in the world. And um, it is bringing me back to why I liked Silent Hill 2 so much in the first place. Now, today's stream is going to be a little shorter. It's not going to be, you know, the near three hours of the past two days. But I've just been really digging this, and I want to want to get into the... It gets me into the spooky mindset of Halloween a little bit. There are times where it's really foggy, like by the beach, or like in Manhattan, and I just go for a walk on those nights. And I'm like, yeah, this is, this is Silent Hill. So I kind of just like foggy, weird nighttime game. Well, in this game, it's foggy daytime, but it's just got a great, great atmosphere. So atmosphere, he says, while in strip club. Let me know when you want to move on. Let's go. All right, then. Come on. There's that Unreal Engine hair. Did you see the Sunny mod that removes all the fog? Yeah. We could come back later if you want. You know, in case we need a break. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> Whatever you say. I mean, any port in the storm, right? I guess so. Getting slight, slightly darker. Ah! He startled me. Heaven's night. Neighborhood cafe. Yeah, the fog looks kind of cool with that slight hint of yellow. Okay, it's not far now. It's just funny because um, in Turok 1, it is the foggiest game, even fog foggier than Silent Hill. And it sucks because of like the type of game it is. James? No. No. No, 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 no. This is a dead end, too. That was a pointless, pointless damage. Um, but yeah, I mean, the technical limitations of the PlayStation 1 led to the fog. By the way, the director, was it Ito, said that it wasn't, in fact, ash. It was snow in Silent Hill 1. It was always snow. I know it's probably more fun to think of it as ash, but that's what he said. But the movie. Was it Ash in the movie? I forgot. I watched the movie. I don't remember very much of it. I remember Lori Holden, um, and she she had a gun. That was about it. But um, they said snow and one. Well, regardless, the limitations of Silent Hill 1 being on PlayStation leading to... Like, here's all this fog for atmosphere, but also because we need to save some... I could really use a warning next time. We need to save some uh, resources. And, like, it became this iconic part of the series. And yet there are so many other games from that era that 
the fog just like sucks the life out of them. And yet here we are playing this game. And it's like one of the fucking most detailed things ever. And it's like, yeah, fog. Oh my god, it looks so good. But if you gave me a new Turok game and it was foggy, I would like I would stop playing it. <laughs> Be like, fuck you. But again, I know it's a completely different type of game. We're on the other side of that chasm. Some detour. But hey, at least we're here. Here meaning where exactly? Come on, you'll find out. Vinny, did you see the mod that gives Sunderland big naturals? I hate you. There's a bit more to it than that. If you say so. I don't think I've been here before. Come on. She's just around the corner. She? Vinny, what happened to Shit Sleeve? I, I think... Is his Shit Sleeve gone? Maybe he washed it in the day since I played this game. Who is she? There's a story told around these parts. Kind of a local legend. Oof. Unreal. Tells of a woman who was cast out. Sentenced to die on an island out on the lake. There was a man in town who fell madly in love with her. <laughs> and every night, he would sneak out, row across the lake, bringing her food and company. <laughs> and every night, she would stand there on the shore, holding a lit candle to help him find his way. But this one night, a terrible storm broke out, caught him out in the open, and it blew out the candle. Even in darkness, the man would not give up. He would not turn back. So he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. Rip. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home to lead him to shore <laughs> not sure how much truth there is to it it's probably just a fairy tale but she's become something of a local saint a patron of undying love hence this place She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. The uh, sleeve is kind of shiny. Hey. Sorry, that shouldn't be. It's okay. Paying attention to that story. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still. Come on. I feel like th this town was just, like, cursed from the start. Shh. 
Surely not. Yeah. I think it came from inside the theater. Hmm. Wait, like going up here? All right, let's go up here. You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. Like at movies? You don't like movies? And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah. And you got a pipe. Get rid of that glass first, dude. I blocked the door. <laughs> Oops. Did you hear that too? Oh, they're watching Silent Hill the movie. Imagine they were. That, that would be a little too meta. We wouldn't want that. Also, just for the record, I thought the movie, from what I remember, my initial reaction was, it's okay. But I don't really remember it very much. So, and I just watched it like two years ago, so... Or maybe three, but yeah, those memories are sadly kind of gone. It didn't need Pyramid Head? What do you mean? That's the most marketable character in the series. What do you mean it doesn't fit thematically? Thematically... The... The... Automatic money that we make from... Putting Pyramid Hit in the movie? Wow, I'm just checking toilets now... Completely automatically. Just to use that word again. Um, chat. I, like, I wasn't even trying to be funny. I really just check now. Reflexively. What the fuck? <sighs> when the irony turns to habit. Yeah, tell me about it. Filthy theater. Still not as bad as the rest of this town, so, I mean, just dusty and popcorny. Eddie? Oh. Hmm. Here, Ooh, that uh, hand. Jesus. James. We met back at the apartment building. Yeah. I remember. What's what's going on with his hands? I see that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Oh. Melted ice cream. At least you got your appetite back. Oh, that is ice cream, okay. Thought he was eating popcorn for Are a minute. Are you alone here, Eddie? 
Um. No. Well. That's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Never mind. Just like unsettling. Ugh. Yeah, some of that Lynchian shit is still kind of here in a different way, maybe. Who is that girl, anyway? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Uh, didn't you want to go after her? Better hurry. Laura can be pretty quick when she wants to. No, I'm just here to shine a flashlight into your fucking eyeballs. You good with that? Sorry, hang on, chat. I'm blacking out real quick. I don't know what's going on. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Gray Leno Show Best Of. This time, we're going to be working on some showing you some stuff. It's the best of Grey Leno show. You know, folks, we've had this show for a long time now. And it's been really successful, and we're trying to work it up and scale it up and become even better. So, we're going to show you the best stuff of the show, and, and, and sit back and enjoy. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Grey Leno show! Yes, it was worth it. It was worth it to waste ammo for the bit. And if I'm short five bullets later, I will blame Grey Leno. Anyway, mood completely ruined. How's your day? Someone said this won't be easily Laura? forgiven. <laughs> Vinny, I think that was the requirement for the UFO ending. Yeah, I think so too, actually. Gray Leno's Silent Hill is just him delivering his monologues for an empty theater. Just over and over and over again. Our Silent Hill is watching Gray Leno deliver his monologues to an empty theater. Over, and over, and over again. Boy, this theater sucks. There's all these movies, but they don't show any of them. Kind of 
of makes sense why so many theaters switch to digital, huh? really like that music. Now, is that actually the same music from Silent Hill 2, or is it like a remix or remaster? I just don't remember. It, it is the song. Oh, um, Yamaoka, Yamaoka remade it? Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Maria? Did you see a little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but she went that way. We can still catch her. Nope, there's that. Oh man, Unreal Engine stutter. It's so unreal. I wonder if there is a way they can fix that, though. I wonder if that's just, like, part and parcel for the engine. That wasn't making a joke, chat. I wasn't making... I was just saying unreal. Alright, I was trying to make a joke. God Look. damn it. Big area. Is that a gun cabinet? In a hospital? Yeah, but it's empty. Somehow that seems worse. Pro. Bird bullets. You're telling me I can stop bullets? You're telling me, Chu, that I can stop bullets with my mind? Hang on a minute. Did you just freaking shift reality? Chew. Penguin. Crow. Emote coming in handy once again. In there. No combination now. We should look around. Might be written down somewhere. shatter your life. Anxiety? Please keep noise down. 
Remember, if you experience poor appetite or significant weight loss, insomnia or hypersomnia, loss of interest or pleasure in usual activities, feeling of worthlessness, diminished abilities to think or concentrate, contact your health care provider immediately. Yeah. There. Laura! Wait! She's a bold one. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. Running around an old shitty hospital. God damn it. Why would she run from us? I don't think she likes me very much. But why? I, uh... I don't know. Yeah, the James voice actor really won me over. And the and the direction too, like the the line reads are very appropriate for this kind of game, and specifically Silent Hill. There's a subtle like low energy thing that he does that uh, that fits the character nicely. Subtal. Always want to make sure to explore. Just a little extra. Hmm. Oh, nope. Oh, wait, I, this was locked. Right, okay, sorry, I'm a little brain dead. Do you have a particular ending you're going for? Not really. I, I don't, like I said, I only played the original once, and as much as I enjoyed it. I loved it, actually, but I don't, I don't remember the endings. And, uh... Huh. Huh. Um, just whatever I get is fine. I could always look up the rest. I got the leave ending. The last time. Uh, oh yeah, when I played the original. What was that? Not sure. Better stay on your guard. Does this make you want to go back to OG Silent Hill 2 at any point? Uh, wouldn't be opposed. I think it would be cool to see the differences. Nurses, doctors, trees. But I mean, not anytime soon. It's just a thing that... Like, I could definitely see myself playing it again in a couple years. You know, down the road, maybe. Would Silent Hill 2 be like replaying Half-Life for you? No, Half-Life is, is a lot of fun to just run around in. Silent Hill 2 is just a, an exercise in depression and atmosphere, which is fine. But, uh... Oh, thank you, Scott, for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, Scott. Hello, raiders. This is a, um... This is a game... Yeah, Half-Life would be, you know, that's a game that I played when I was 13, 14, and in that game you run, you shoot, you jump, and it has um, all the hallmarks of a classic, like, shooter, on top of the story being interesting, but all of the story is being told through, like, the environment anyway, and, like, scientists going, ah! 
So I don't know if it would be like replaying Half-Life, but it would be nice to revisit just the story of it. Now that the dust has settled, what is the deal with G-Man? Gordon Man. Think about it. Huh. That's actually a popular theory, I know. <laughs> Well, haven't made a lot of progress. I, th I would assume I have to break into more rooms via the windows, but I don't know. No. Just keep looking around. Do any spooky Half-Life maps planned? I don't know, actually. Um, if any exists that I haven't played, please let me know, chat members, if you got them. Share them if you got them. But, uh, I have some Half-Life stuff, but it's not particularly spooky. I do have some Gmod weirdness. Check out the pictures in the hallway. Oh, is that what that thing was trying to tell me about? Hang on. Well... So, doctors. Nurses, doctors, trees. Nurses. You, um... You looking for something in these photos? Doctors. Trees. Okay. Seven. Two doctors. Oh. Four trees. Seven, two, four. Um, good banter going on. Even if it is a little weird, like, it, it fits. Again, very low energy. <laughs> this place feels so empty. More than the other places we've been. Um... Someone said Mulder and Scully vibes. Whoa, I just got jump scared. Alright, bye. No? Hey, this one's open. Nope. Doesn't work. Do you think Moldy and Skulker could escape Silent Hill? Yeah, and they could do it in 45 minutes or an hour and a half if it's a two-parter. With commercials. Huh. 
Mulder would get the UFO ending. That is very true. But he would also be like... Be like this. Are you a UFO? She'd be like, Mulder, what the fuck are you talking about? Even I'm surprised at how quickly I drew my gun at that. Legs. How does this escort mission compare to Silent Hill 4? She stays out of your way more. Um, the gameplay being what it is, like, yeah, she just kind of lets me do my thing. Oh, God. And considering there's more precise, like, you have more control over where you're hitting, and it feels like you have a little more control over the character, it's not, it's... No, we're nowhere near as annoying as Silent Hill 4. But we'll see. Um, looks like we're getting pretty decent escort mission here, which is eh, my favorite. But we'll see if it's any good. Or at least, if it's not terrible. Have you played Silent Hill 3? Yes. Oh, God. I streamed it. Um, yeah, some, some years ago. And... I thought it was great. I do think that developers know more now that escort missions are pretty fucking hated and go to a little bit more length to make sure that they don't suck as much as a lot of games from yesteryear. So... Yeah, if you look at um, Resident Evil 4, for example, the remake and the original, it's not even... The original did the escort stuff pretty well, and it wasn't... It wasn't the whole game or anything. And the remake did a, a probably slightly even better job at making it not annoying. Like, she ducks out of the way. <laughs> You can ask her to wait. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Uh, she stays behind you most of the time. So you're kind of like a human shield, just in case someone... Something strange is in the neighborhood. Yeah, she can hide in a dumpster.
perfectly good rugs going to waste. Oh god. Jesus, she keeps jump scaring me. More of those things. Indeed we shall. Oh my god, that's a waste of bullets. It's so fast. I just said Vine Sauce logo on map. What? <laughs> oh, the V. It's a check mark, but yeah, sure. It's a blue check mark. Misery. Maria? Sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you sure? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Maybe you should rest. Yeah. Okay. Gross abandoned hospital bed. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Mm. So comfy. Hmm. I'm gonna go look for Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. James? I wanted to ask you. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't really thought about that. Get back soon, okay?
Sorry, I just need a moment. I'm all right. I'm just tired. Take care of what matters most. Leave the rest to us. Palliative care, yeah. Would you rather spend a week in Silent Hill or watch the Grey Leno show for 48 hours non-stop? Silent Hill. Like I said, his spirit comes through me. So I, it's not exactly like I'm creating him. It's like I'm compelled. It's like an obsession. And I have to make Grey Leno. Where is that I am but the vessel of which Leno is to exist. First nurse just dropped. For a minute, I was like, oh, a save room. Combo. They're tough. So you actually have to learn their patterns and learn to time your dodges appropriately. She parried you, by the way. Oh, boy. Code has been reset to what we agreed on during yesterday's meeting in the doctor's lounge. Like I said, I don't want anyone writing it down on little pieces of paper for me to find. Be responsible, people. What if the code was just on the back of that? out I mean all right I will find what it is truly is, and I will kill 
Sham Hospital in their puzzle rooms. Every hospital's got one. Evaluation card, patient 90. Can't be left alone, move to L1 for closer monitoring. This is patient 130. Intense, unrelenting anxiety. Hallucinations as well. Patient 50, sudden outbursts of aggression, hallucinations. Vinny, what would this game be like with Hank Hill in it? Silent Hill. I mean, please, by all means, Jack, keep teeing up these softballs for me. Patient interview transcript. Patient, um, following interview was conducted with such and such in response to incident 71. I remember lying in water empty the night, felt him. Felt him stare. He was close, very close. I had to get out, I had to get away. He followed. He kept staring, so I made him stop. Now I'm empty again. We get back to the pool. Trying to hide down there. You mean to tell me there's bullets in a hospital? Whoa, God! Bad room, bad room, bad, bad, bad. Creepy breathing. You don't mind, chat, that I don't have words to say, like, constantly while I'm playing this.
sometimes I do definitely get into a conversation that's unrelated to what I'm playing. That happens a lot, actually. But, yeah, every once in a while... See, now I'm checking again for coils. God damn it. Um, every once in a while, I want to not read too much chat message and just kind of enjoy and get into the, the game. Radio is more of a medium where you can't really have silence for too long, but streaming isn't. Streaming, you can definitely let things breathe a bit. Which, uh, I think trips some streamers up, and fair enough, but... Yeah, you can let a lot of the... Especially if you're playing something really interesting, and not just Pong. You can kind of let the game do the work. Hey, even Pong can be entertaining. I'm sure you can really get into it if you start, like, you know, learning the, uh, the, the Pong meta. back this way. Are there heads condoms? Oh my god. They were in the movie. Well, okay, if the head wasn't, like, bloody just then. I'm gonna try- okay, the next one, I'm gonna try to just shoot in the knees. Headshots work well on nurses, by the way. I mean, yeah, you're you're popping the jolly. Shit. Does any chat member need a chat name? If so, I think you just heard the one that you're you're gonna have from now until you're 87. They're literally called Bubblehead Nurses, according to official art book. Yeah, needle shit, I do not like. Definitely do not like needle stuff. Shotgun. Did you hear about Pat's reaction to the needles? I did. Yeah, I did.
I didn't know how he felt about needles, but it makes sense. They're, you know, disturbingly, uh, disgusting in this game. And if you have any kind of needle phobia... Yeah. Bubblehead nurses, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, too bloody to take a look, but to say they... Yes, they have... Yeah. Whatever the intent, they are rubbery and bubbly. Go ahead and take care of that. James is a badass. Like that cover of that magazine. They looked amazing in Bomberman R. Bubble nurses were in what? Oh my god, that's so fucking weird. They have straws. <laughs> wow. Um, Chad, I'm noticing that a lot of these, like, uh, medical boxes don't have needles or health drink. I'm assuming it's because I'm doing pretty well on health. Or, you know, lore reason, it's a hospital, it's all been used. not dynamic like Resident Evil 2 remake. Okay, gotcha. See, this is kind of like um, this atmosphere in this here video game. It's going to make me miss um, Sleep No More. The definitely not sex thing that I talk about in the city. It's really not. It's really, really, really not. Look into it. It's just a fucking interactive play. Where you walk around a hotel and watch people have blood orgies. It's not anything... Ugh. It's not even a blood orgy. That was not... I described it in completely wrong. It's a rave. And it's like a witch put a spell on them. And they use a goat head and fake blood, and they dance around naked under strobe lights. That's it. That's the only fucking thing that is even remotely like that. It's called Sleep No More Chat. I'm not going to explain it for anyone new. It's interactive theater in Manhattan, and it's closing. Even though it's been closing for a year. Supposedly. Anyway. It is very cool. And even if you don't pay attention to any of the performances, and you don't try to follow the story, the sets are... Like, you can hear, they, they pipe music and sound effect in every room. And it's pretty high quality. And like, you'd be in something like this. The sets, chat, the sets.
You'd be in, like, you know, there's some rooms, there's like a hospital room. And just being in there, the lighting is very dim, and the sound effects are kind of spooky. It's not scary, you don't get jump scared or anything, but the, the, the feeling of being in a place like that in real life, while people are wearing eyes wide shut masks, is very strange, and uh, I'll miss it. They brought in the girl today, poor thing hasn't said a word, she just sits there. Head in her hands, sobbing and quivering. I moved her to the corner bed. It seems to have calmed her down a bit. She even smiled at me, I think. Did you take Joel to sleep no more? I was going to. And he was interested, but... You know what it was? We didn't have a ton of time. And we also wanted to actually hang out and talk. And like have dinner and have like a couple drinks um, with Mike as well and it was like if you go to that you kind of can't hang out and it's expensive so I mean yeah unfortunately there were a number of things working against us but I really do think he would have liked it and he, he was interested too he, we, he was like man I, I would have loved to have done that Would he scare? Not at a place like that. I think he would have just had fun. Well, I say fun, but it's a different kind of fun. Because you're just observing. Why didn't you go after he filmed the Nortz video? Limited time. I was literally driving to PAX like the next day. This very easily could be, like, death. Absolute nightmare scenario. Oh, um, oh, the Nortz video, you said. I thought you said the Clone Me video. No, that was months ago. Uh, Joel was in town last. And I had to go to PAX, and we didn't really have time to do Sleep No More. Because you kind of have to get there a certain time. Um, the Nortz video chat, that was me. And it, that was a split screen. Like, I know I was being sarcastic and joking how Joel flew from Sweden, got in the mask, and then, like, flew home. But, like, come on. You, like, people are still... I swear to God, there were people that were like, no, 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 Vinny confirmed that was Joel in the mask. Dude. I know sometimes my sarcasm can be a little hard to detect, but come on, dog. Was it Mike? It, it was Mike, it, and then I, I filmed him separate and then split-screened him. It was Johnny. It was desert. Did Joel write that note? Did Sephiroth do this? Fucking hell. 
I will say though that Grey Leno shirt, uh, Cheesy Draws made it. And I also have like a Grey Leno Show crew shirt. Thank you, by the way, Cheesy. I appreciate it. They're not here at the moment, probably, but it's still it's a really cool gift. Um, you know, after that video, I received like a weird number of requests saying, Vinny, I will buy Grey Leno merchandise. Why are there people actually saying they would do- and, and even now, chat is like, oh yeah, yeah, dude, do it. Alright. Vinny, it was all fake AI bots, don't get tricked. Isn't the Grey Leno model from that old movie maker game? Um, it's a combination of parts, and some I don't think are original anyway, but... It was drawn, so, you know, the one that was on the shirt is drawn there, so I think it's it's safe to say it's an original character. I don't think Jay Leno owns the copyright to the word Leno. I mean, there's got to be other people named Leno on this planet, right? director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? Hint. This is the break room. A sad break room. Well, we have one of the bracelets. Mic muted. I'm sorry, chat. What, what do you want me to talk about? Gray Leno more? Oh, cool. All right. Hey. Any luck finding Laura? Not yet. How are you holding up? I'll be okay. Just need a bit more rest. James? Oh, that was the shitty arm. Thanks for checking up on me. It's very sweet of you. Yeah. Uh, get some rest, I'll I 
I thought his shit arm was his right arm. I don't know. It was a bad joke. You know? <laughs> I don't know. One of them is a shitty arm. Hey, this is a pretty shitty arm. I don't really think there's much I can do here right now. So I have that pin. Maybe... Uh, well, there's 3F. So maybe we should take a look. Let's, let's see what that's all about. If I can get up there. Also, the basement still has some unexplored stuff. color them in too okay yeah there's there's all new stuff up here hey are you okay don't be afraid, I just want to talk. Jesus. God, and when you shoot them, it gets real, like, slimy. No, no thanks, man. Also, someone said Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, that glitchy movement. I mean, that inspired Silent Hill down to the jacket James wears, too. But, it, uh, yeah, the glitchy movement is very unsettling. And that is a Jacob's Ladder thing. I think it's required viewing if you like Silent Hill. If you haven't seen that movie... Um... Oh, God. Day one, patient transferred for observation. It's patient 90, malnourished, shallow breathing, avoids eye contact, agitated in presence of staff, frantic at the notion of touch. Day two, patient refuses solid food. Asogastric force 
feeding required. Serotonin antagonists administered to reduce nausea and vomiting. Patient restrained for bathing and feeding. Prepare the treatment room accordingly. Progressing malnourishment, oxygen deficiency, self-injury suspected. Could not confirm something is very wrong. Dr. Andrews, we delivered the radiographs you requested. However, it looks like the file was incomplete. It's one of the pictures was nowhere to be found. We will send somebody as soon as we locate it. Let me know if you need anything else. Hmm? Oh, interesting. photo missing or uh an extra uh, there it's right there pelvis elvis has the hospital ever creeped you out yeah Yeah, without getting into too much detail, um... There's definitely some, you know, hospitals have bad memories associated with them. I think that's the nature of hospitals for a lot of people. Um, if you're talking about, like, being freaked out, not, like, scared of ghosts, it's just hospital stuff is... Yeah. Cropsy? Yeah, Staten Island does have Cropsy. And, uh, we have, yeah, we have an abandoned, like... There's a whole, like, haunted hospital thing. And, uh, people do urban exploration there. I've seen videos of it, I wouldn't go. But it, it is actually kind of fucked. Four. Okay, so this one is... Four. I think you're missing one. It does kind of look like I'm missing an x-ray, but I don't know. Combination lock. Also, I know that some of this stuff has been expanded. The game is longer, which was when I heard that I was worried. And the, the main thing I was worried about with, with Bloober was I kept hearing, and again, like, I don't even know where this information came from, I don't know who said it, but a thing that worried me was them putting their own stories into Silent Hill. Because I just thought that was going to turn into, like, oh, we know better than the original people, and we're going to, we're going to tell stories of our own in the world of Silent Hill 2, and it's like, that, that sounds, that sounds bad. 
but if there's like, you know, additional stuff, so far it's been pretty good. None of it felt like tonally fucked. And I do know that some of these areas have been expanded. But I haven't minded. That was another worry. It was like, well, you're turning a certain amount of length, uh, you know, that this game originally was, into like double the length almost. Or like another 40%. And how's that going to work? But it kind of has been fine. I really kind of haven't felt... So far, at least, um, I haven't felt like I've I've not enjoyed anything. But, I mean, that's just, again, years of me not playing the original as well. So we're going to go to 1F. Having one of the best games of all time as a base doesn't hurt. No, not at all. Now, I've heard people say that everything good in this game is what was in the original. And yeah, I mean, that's at best a remake does that and preserves it. And adds maybe a little bit and gives you a little more like of the world, gives you a little more of the characters, obviously more detail in the visuals. But you don't want to subtract. And it looks like they did handle this with a, a degree of care that I wasn't expecting. Same for a lot of others. So, yeah. Yeah, so far, so good. I, I mean, listen, I've played it three days in a row for a reason. Because I want to see what happens next. And it, you know, it, it is weirdly like replaying Silent Hill 2 in my restless dreams because I don't remember the exact stuff. So this is a great refresher. Yeah, they hate headshots. Yeah, I see. I see that weird liquid. I see it. Missing those five bullets I wasted on Gray Leno now. Oh, we're going outside. Another incident with 50. He got out of the pool and made a break for the garden, cutting himself wide open in the process. Thank God I was still here. He was completely manic, screaming. 
Had the orderlies hold him down, barely managed to stitch him up. He's back in his room for now, sedated. Bad luck, Vinny. Was it seven years? Who made it seven years? Like, why seven specifically? Like, Big Mirror, the chairman of the Mirror Association? Uh... God! Jeez. like I'm playing that um, Night Manor game or Night Mansion, whatever it was called, from UFO 50 now. Don't drink the tea, no. disease waiting to happen. I guess that's everything in Silent Hill, but especially this pool. I just wanted to see. I don't know. It was worth a bullet. Gotcha! Chairs in Silent Hill 4. I can't express in words how lame that was. So, drain. We'll pump in there. Rat. 
restroom. Okay, we're gonna go that way in just a second. I wanna take a look at something. I have a suspicion, a theory. Jame theory. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh. Shit. Again. Reminds me of Night Manor from UFO 50. <laughs> key down in the green. Of course. How does James know to do this? Video game. He's video James. Is that an ear? That's an ear. Remember when um, Mac and Charlie got stuck in the pool? Those guys. <laughs> Mac could have totally gotten out by doing a flip. He totally could have. Yeah, those those fucking stomp screams from James are are really fucking guttural and you feel, you know, you feel like he's actually stomping on on condom people. It's crazy. case bears a disturbing similarity to a situation that took place in the facility a few years back. The patient was admitted on a court order, but with the consent of his remaining family, his condition appeared to be improving the first few weeks. He administered medications paired with the individual sessions uh, with a psychologist and art therapy alleviated his avolition. And head and hedonia? Probably saying that wrong. Um, and social withdrawal. There's no reason for concern. They didn't even know anything was wrong until the night guard reported one of his keys was missing. When they found him, it was already too late. Oh boy, the mold here is uh, intense. jacket with a lot of room in it. Do you have a phobia? I'm sure I have more than I realize. But philosophobia to an extent, even though I love playing video games about the deep ocean, 
the thought of it is um, kind of kind of messed up. Uh, house centipedes? Is that a named phobia? I mean, not really arachnophobia, but a little bit. I think maybe just the normal amount that most people don't like spiders. I'm not sure. What is the normal amount? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you take a poll of everybody's, like, spider aversion and you, you just try to, like, crunch numbers about it? It's, it's hard to say. But... The older I get, the less they bother me. Alright, uh, let's... Save this here. And I want to get going. Like I said, it wasn't going to be a ter terribly long stream. Um, let me just see, because I won't be playing this again until next week. So I have the blood-stained bracelet. There's another, um, like, padlock. As well. Keypad, as well, for the nurse's station. The x-ray room is missing an x-ray. There's a combination lock over there. I got the keypad combination. Can, can you please, um, remind me of that next time? If I did, in fact, get the keypad. I know there was also a number four. Oh, this. Yes, this. Okay. So I got that, and then there's a number four, but we'll... We'll keep cranking away at this game next week. Chat, I really like it. I really like it, so thank you for watching it. It was a lot of fun to stream it for you. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the streams, or the game, or both. So, I will be live Sunday for Sunday stream, chat. And then next week, we'll continue doing these games that I'm, you know, I played today. Try to throw in a couple extra horror games if, if I have time to. Otherwise, it looks like we might be doing um, a, you know, uh, an abiotic factor. Also, check Full Sauce channel on YouTube for a couple uploads over the next two days. So, if you missed anything, you will, uh, you will see some stuff there. Alright, I'm pretty tired. Good night. Thank you. And have a good weekend. I'll see you uh, for Sunday stream. Goodbye. Tonight's big story, the moon is gone, but everything's fine. This just happened about five minutes ago. We don't know how, and we don't know why, but it's gone. We're going live now to a correspondent on the street interviewing a clown. I'm telling you, it's those damn mimes. Shifty little shits. I heard they were all making invisible lassos and throwing them up towards the moon. All at once, trying to pull it down. Guess they finally did it, huh? We gotta get them. We gotta get them. Let me and Schlocko and Bozo and Gonzo and Binky and Chuckles and Gigglesworth and Tickles roll up on them in the clown car. We'll fix things. Invisible lassos. Unbelievable. Mimes. Boy, that was heated. Here's a mime to comment. <laughs>